If you think updating to the newest NVIDIA driver always gives you better FPS, smoother gameplay, and lower input lag, this video might completely change your mind. Because in competitive games, especially titles like Fortnite, the wrong driver can silently destroy your performance without you even realizing it. In this video, I'm doing a proper NVIDIA driver comparison using real Cap FrameX benchmark data, not just average FPS numbers. We're looking at frame times, 1% lows, 0.1% lows, stuttering behavior, and overall smoothness to find out which NVIDIA driver actually performs best in real gameplay. Today, we're comparing four different NVIDIA driver versions using the exact same system, the exact same in-game settings, and the exact same test scenario. The only thing that changes between each run is the NVIDIA driver itself. So any difference you see here comes purely from the driver. Before we jump into the results, let me quickly explain how these tests were done so everything is transparent and fair. All benchmarks were recorded using Cap Frame X, which is one of the most accurate tools available for analyzing real-world gaming performance. Each driver was tested on the same PC, with identical hardware, identical background processes, and the same Fortnite test route every single time. The game settings were kept consistent across all runs, focusing on competitive style performance where smoothness, frame consistency, and low input latency matter more than visuals. No settings were changed between tests, no tweaks were added, and no driver-specific optimizations were enabled. Let's start with NVIDIA driver version 591.74. Looking at the Cap Frame X frame time graph, we can already see that the frame times are mostly stable, but there are noticeable spikes throughout the run. These spikes indicate momentary frame time inconsistencies, which can translate into micro stutters during fast movement or fights. In terms of raw numbers, the average FPS sits around the mid 270 range, which on paper looks solid. However, when we look deeper into the data, the 1% lows drop closer to the low 110 range, and the 0.1% lows fall even further, landing just above 60 frames per second. This means that while the average FPS looks good, the consistency is not ideal. During intense moments, the game can drop significantly below the average, which is exactly what competitive players want to avoid. Stuttering data also shows a small but noticeable amount of stutter time, which confirms what we see in the frame time graph. Overall, 591.74 delivers decent performance, but it's not the smoothest experience in this comparison. Next up is NVIDIA Driver version 581.80. Compared to 591.74, the frame time graph here looks slightly more chaotic. There are more frequent spikes, and the moving average line is less stable overall. This suggests more frequent frame time variance during gameplay. Average FTS drops noticeably compared to 591.74, sitting closer to the mid-220 FPS range. That's a significant reduction, especially for players using high refresh rate monitors. The 1% lows are lower, and the 0.1% lows dip even further, indicating that this driver struggles more with maintaining consistency under load. While the game is still playable, the experience feels less smooth, particularly during fast camera movement or build fights. Stutter time is also slightly higher compared to 591.74, which reinforces the idea that this driver is not optimized as well for consistent performance in Fortnite. Now let's talk about NVIDIA driver version 566.36, and this is where things get interesting. Right away, the frame time graph looks noticeably cleaner. Frame time spikes are smaller, less frequent, and the moving average line stays much more stable throughout the entire recording. Average FPS jumps significantly, reaching around the high 230 to mid 240 range, which is a clear improvement over 581.80 and much closer to the top performers. But the biggest improvement shows up in the low FPS metrics. The 1% lows rise into the mid 160 range, and the 0.1% lows are close to 100 frames per second, which is a massive improvement in consistency. Stutter time is extremely low here, almost negligible, and the smoothness percentage is near perfect. In real gameplay, this translates to fewer sudden dips, smoother aiming, and more predictable input response. At this point in the comparison, 566.36 clearly stands out as one of the most balanced and stable drivers tested so far. Finally, we have NVIDIA driver version 576.80. Performance here sits somewhere between 566.36 and the newer drivers. Average FPS lands around the high 240 range, which is respectable and slightly better than 581.80. However, when we examine the frame time graph more closely, we see more spikes compared to 566.36. These spikes are not extreme, but they are frequent enough to affect overall smoothness. The 1% lows are lower, sitting in the mid 140 range, 
and the 0.1% lows drop to around 70 frames per second. This indicates more noticeable dips during heavy action. Stutter time is higher than 566.36, but still better than the newest drivers. Overall, 576.80 is not bad, but it doesn't quite match the consistency and smoothness delivered by 566.36. When we put all four drivers side by side, the differences become very clear. The newest drivers, especially 591.74 and 581.80, focus heavily on compatibility and feature updates, but they introduce more frame time variance and lower low FPS stability in Fortnite. On the other hand, driver 566.36 consistently delivers the best balance between high average FPS, strong 1% lows, and minimal stuttering. Its frame time graph is the cleanest, and its consistency metrics are clearly ahead of the others. 576.80 sits in the middle, offering decent performance but not excelling in smoothness or stability compared to 566.36. So, which NVIDIA driver should you actually use? Based purely on real CapFrameX data, NVIDIA driver 566.36 is the clear winner in this comparison. It delivers the smoothest gameplay, the most stable frame times, and the strongest low FPS performance, which matters far more than peak FPS numbers. If you're a competitive player who values consistency, low input delay, and smooth aiming, 566.36 is the driver I would personally recommend right now. The newer drivers are not bad, but they prioritize compatibility and new features rather than raw competitive performance. Until NVIDIA improves frame time stability in future releases, Sticking with a proven driver like 566.36 makes the most sense. If you found this comparison helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more driver testing content, and let me know in the comments which game you want to see tested next.